Holy crap, it is. Hey, we're struggling over here. It is so hot out. Oh my freaking goodness. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so excited that you are here today and I'm taking you along the journey with me for a major glow up. I'm looking a little rough right now, not even a little, a lot of rough right now, but today I am headed to a salon to go get my hair and makeup done with a girl who reached out to me through social media. We connected, we have a lot of mutual connections as well. She's about like 40 minutes from my house, so I'm headed there right now, and I'm super excited to meet her and connect with her and her boss. So they're gonna be doing my hair and makeup, and we're doing kind of like a collaboration. But I love working with the beauty industry because a lot of my clients are actually beauty industry related. So whether they're like estheticians or they do eyelashes or makeup artists, hairstylists, all the above, you name it, I've worked with them and I enjoy it so, so much. So I'm excited to go meet them and see if there's any opportunities where I can help out with their business side of things and things like that as well. And also just a fun connection. So yeah, I'm actually looking for a makeup and hairstylist to do my look for the conference that's coming up, the sisterhood conference that I'm hosting the third year. Um, I'm sure if you guys are following me on social media, you've been hearing about this for quite some time. It's literally all I've been talking about. And also if you watched my previous YouTube videos, I've also mentioned it. So anyways, I'm hoping that today with the collaboration, if things work out, then I can maybe have them do my hair and makeup for the event. A piece of advice I wanted to give you guys for longer like car rides or even just like any of your daily car rides is listening to a podcast instead of music. Don't get me wrong, I love listening to music here and there, especially when I'm like going to the gym and I want to get like hyped up and like at the gym. But when I'm taking longer car rides, I kind of like to just turn on a podcast because it makes me feel pretty productive and it's always good to be like keep your mind, you know, learning in different ways. So instead of just sitting there listening to music on your long car ride to work or whatever you have, I recommend putting on a podcast that can be beneficial for you. And the one that I'm listening to right now is called Boss Babe Podcast by Natalie Ellis. And I actually really like this one. It's called Secrets to a Passionate Relationship and Unlocking Polarity. So it's kind of about like relationships and how your feminine and masculine come into play and especially as an entrepreneur a female entrepreneur we tend to step into our like masculine a lot because we have to handle tasks as in you know like tasks that like bring out your masculine so when you go into your relationship after work you're still in that masculine and it's kind of talking about how you have to step into a different like version of yourself when you're in your relationship rather than with work because if you go into your relationship in a masculine way then your partner may be a little bit like thrown off to it or you may be having like issues or problems because you're coming at them with a more masculine approach and they're wanting a more feminine approach or vice versa as well tends to happen too so it was just kind of interesting to listen to anyways highly recommend listening to podcasts on your drives it is way more beneficial than listening to music especially depressing music that puts you in a bad mood or a sad state or things like that like music plays a huge role in how your brain actually functions and it even says this in like scripture how like listening to music isn't good because it can alter the state of your being and it's so true like when you listen to depressing music like you feel sad or when you listen to like when you listen to like ghetto music or music that's like you know just like nasty then like it just it brings out like another side of you that isn't the best so don't get me wrong I do like to listen to music and I'm not one who like never listens to music and says it's like completely wrong and like don't listen to music it's terrible for you but I try to like minimize how much music I'm listening to and if I am I try to be pretty conscious about the type of music that I'm listening to um but yeah Hope that was a helpful tip and I hope that you guys watching actually take this into consideration and start listening to podcasts.
done. We're waiting for it to cool down. And now I'm about to get my makeup done with Hi guys, I'm Zahira. I'm one of the artists at Betty's Blow Dry Bar and I also do all their marketing, so I'm super excited. Yay! Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look how stunning. So cute. Thanks to you. <laughs> I love this girl. <laughs> we don't know what the heck we're doing, but we're getting there. Like the video. <laughs> like it. Subscribe. Yeah. Right? Also I wanted to do a little close up. Of what my makeup looks like. A little bit of a shorter video, a pampering day that I got today for a collaboration at Betty's Blowout Bar, and it was so good. I love the way my hair turned out, silky smooth. It took a little bit of time because I have so much hair. They did it in like rollers and then like curled it up and pinned it, and then afterwards they like curled it and then kept it up and pinned it as well. So it's super bouncy, which I really like. And the makeup, my face looks super like flawless which I really enjoy as well I'm just not a makeup person so anytime I'm wearing makeup I feel like I look weird and I'm just not used to it but honestly this did turn out really really good and I'm super glad that they wanted to partner with me cool. so she was asking me if I wanted fake eyelashes when she did my makeup and I said sure why not because when I do a full face I'm like mascara looks kind of funny I feel like you need like fake eyelashes so we just put some on but honestly oh this road they're redoing this road by my house and it's so bad sorry about that but anyways these eyelashes are actually shorter than my natural eyelashes so I kind of wish I just did my natural eyelashes but it's okay they still turned out really good and I'm happy with it so and also like I wanted to get my makeup and hair done on a day that I'm actually doing something. I'm not really doing anything, but I might go to this like banquet hall to watch the debate tonight, the Trump and Biden debate. Not that I needed my makeup or hair done for that, but at least like I'm going somewhere, you know what I mean? So it's not like I'm just sitting at home with a full face of makeup and my hair done, but I'm also not confident going out in a full face of makeup, so I might take it all off and put normal makeup on. But I don't I feel bad because like I do like it but it's just not my usual but maybe by the time it's like n a few hours pass by maybe I'll get used to it by then and decide to actually wear this out tonight so we'll see but I might take the lashes off and do just like mascara so I feel more comfortable because I really like like my natural lashes a lot and I like my eyelashes to look kind of spidery and these are more like butterflies kind of yeah. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.